Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. This is episode two. So once you've found the game and you've downloaded it and you've unzipped it, uh, you can play it. Ooh, look at this. So there's a bunch of stuff we'll want to set up. The first thing I'd recommend you do is you go to your settings, you go over here to options. So all sorts of good stuff. I'll explain it once we start playing the game. Uh, I imagine if you're watching this video, you know about this game. You'll learn stuff, even if you've played this game before. But if you haven't, just kind of follow what I'm doing for now. So, pick up, turn on auto pickup. Don't turn on anything else. Uh, turn on auto reactivate safe mode. And I recommend you put this to a very small number, like uh, two. Okay, I would turn off the autosave. They can kind of screw you over. Turn on auto notes and turn all this stuff on. You want all this stuff so bad. Now, you want to also turn on the sound pack, but I'd recommend you do CC sounds and turn your sound effects way down because the sound effects in this game are super freaking loud for some reason. Okay, that's some of the important stuff. Let's also go to the interface. That's the next tab. And you want to turn on the gun brand names because it's cool to know what the guns are called. Uh, from there, some of the, the only other things we're going to change is the tile set. Now, this is really up to you, but I like Chibi. Chibi Otika. <laughs> Alright, these are the final things. Now, check it out. This is, this is the default settings of this game. And if you know about this game, you know it's very hard. Like, it's really easy to die. You can get overwhelmed very quickly by not very strong enemies. And then, as the enemies get stronger, it gets ridiculous. So... The game is really well designed. You kind of want to leave it how it is if you can. Don't mess with this stuff. The only things we're going to change are the following. Uh, instead of it starting and it being the morning, we we really need it to start and be nighttime. That's, that's fucked up. It can't be starting in the morning. Um, you want to turn wandering hordes on. This is so cool. Uh, the only other things I like to change are this. And this is where I become maybe a little bit of a noob. But I just like to give a little bit more items. So I like to do a little 25% increase on items. And then I like to put this number to 5. So 4 is the default. If I put this number to 5, I've made a 25% increase in the amount of time it takes for the monsters to evolve. That just makes the game a little bit more fun, honestly. It makes it less grindy. It's more grindy if you don't do this. All this debug stuff, um, leave alone except for distance initial visibility. This is how big your starting map is. Turn this to 20, and we're done. Cool. So the game is made, or well, the settings are made, rather. The next thing we want to do is actually create a world. I don't know. I guess this is kind of up to you. What I like to do is I like to do the cityscape. This is how dense or how not dense the cities are. And I like to do cityscape, so cities are twice as large and a little bit closer. For the difficulty, I just leave it alone. And for random NPCs, I love the NPCs. I like to turn them all the way up. I want to meet as many people as possible during this. Okay, we're almost done. I just press the M key, and I open up the mods. So these are all so cool. There's a bunch of mods you can use. There's only a couple I want to use. And they just make the game more fun. More understandable. The Translate Complex Dialogue is a really useful mod for that reason. Um, let's see, what else is in here? No, I don't really want any of this. If you like the back rooms, there's a back rooms mod. And then I tab over, or I actually carrot over, and there's some balancing mods. Um... And the only ones I like to do are Speedy Dex and Tameable Wildlife. Speedy Dex totally makes sense. Tameable Wildlife makes sense. Stats through kills and stats through skills are stupid. They make you so overpowered so fast. It makes the game too easy. So, so this is what I would recommend to really get that good balance of super freaking fun, um, but kind of hard. Okay, so we've created this world called Three Lakes. The settings are all ready. And next time, we're going to make the character. And this is the character. Um, as you know, it's called Goon to God. So this character is going to be a total fucking goon. But when we're done with him, man, one day he will be a god. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.